what kind of pressure does Thomas Jackson experience on the Well, it's a huge hole. You know, he's man, he's been so effective for us. You know, when you, when you sit and talk about your position sometimes, who are the guys you're not concerned about? He's one of them. You knew he was going to do his job. You knew he could play multiple positions. You knew he was going to produce. You know, special teams, there's a lot of things that go into this that, that besides him just making plays. So it's a huge hole, there's no doubt about it. What was your reaction of when he got injured? I don't know anymore. Like, I'm at a loss of words for some of the things that's happened this year. I've never really experienced it. You know, you, you spend time figuring out are there reasons or ways we can help us, and some of them have turned into just like freak things that I don't have an explanation. Sometimes, you know, there's whatever it is, you know, rut, or, you know, whatever happens, you know, it's, it's just one of those times, and so we're trying to find ways to just find the next guy and get him to produce but it's there's no words for that you know it's it's just uh it's and it's sad i hate it for him because you know, he's given so much to be the player he is and and you know when you see when these kids find out that's the deal and you look at you see the, how crushed they are i mean it's it's tough it really is and uh you know i hate it for him you know i just keep praying for him and, and just hope he comes back better than ever how is he been coping Probably as best as you can, you know. I mean, it's a tough thing. So he's, you know, he's he's a tough kid and he's mentally tough. And you know, I think that his thing now is he's gonna find a way to come back better than he was. Uh, Jordan Cuttingham had his best game of the day. Can he do some of the things that Thomas has been doing for you? You know, we talked earlier in camp that he's a guy that would make a play or two every day. So he's capable of doing some things. You know, um, I don't know if he's quite. Thomas Jackson sometimes in that slot role that he does, but he can definitely be a guy that steps up and takes up some slack for what's going on for sure. Who else are you looking to, to take up that slot? Well, you know, I mean, we still want Anthony Ratliff to be a guy, you know, uh, Daz Newsom to keep stepping up. Uh, you know, Prohl is the guy that we, we obviously count on. And, and, you know, you got Devin Perry and, and you know, so those are the guys that you, you really just hope that they just continue to grow. Uh, Bo got the play, you know, so you just want to see growth from all those guys. What uh, have you been telling them uh, this week in terms of kind of what they need to do to step up? Well, it, again, it, it's it's being accountable. You know, we talk about, like, when you show up today for practice or meetings, it should be the first time you're seeing Duke or, or understanding what we're doing with our game plan. Stuff's available to these guys 24/7, so they got to prepare like a professional. You know, that's their job. And so, for those young guys, it's different. You know, so just putting the time in off the field to make sure I'm mentally prepared and understand our game plan and what the other team's trying to do, so you can come out here and execute at a high level.